Hello, this is Omni 4. As you can see, he's a, well, you can't quite see the back wheel, but he's a four wheeled robot. These are Omni wheels with six rollers on each of the plates. And he's controlled using uh, a simple app developed on the MIT App Inventor. So I'm just going to demonstrate the, uh, the motion of Omni 4. So the first thing you need to do, of course, is connect him. So go through this. So this is connecting to the uh, Bluetooth module, and you'll see now I have control on the robot. So let me just move this backwards. <clears throat> okay, so typical uh, controls for robots. We have forward motion, uh, reverse motion. Uh, but what's nice about these robots, of course, is that they can go left and right. Um, little problems sometimes with um, the grip that we have with the, with the rollers, but not too bad normally. And of course we have clockwise and counterclockwise rotation with this type of bot. But we also have nice diagonally forwards mo rota uh, motion, diagonally backwards motion. And you can see there that Omni 4 has a lot of different ways that he can move around on a surface. Oops, Oops he's disappeared completely. Let me just rotate him. Here he comes. There he is. So, fun little robot. Very easy to, to program and control. Um, everything you see has been built uh, using a Flash Forge uh, finder printer. So all the wheels, um, the only extra bits, of course, are going to be the, the nuts and bolts to actually bolt the wheels on. <clears throat> Uh, the sensors at the moment are not connected, but they're very easy to connect and everything fits inside the bot as per normal. So at the moment it's controlled by four AA batteries um, and the Bluetooth modules there and the standard Nano with the IO um, board connected to it as is in the normal designs. Um, the four servos are flat on the base of the, uh, the body. Uh, these are metal geared and they have been modded so that they have 360 degree rotation, but they're still, they're still servos. These are not DC motors, but in fact, for this type of robots, DC motors would probably be best. Now I've kept the actual app and the code itself to be as simple as possible so that this really could be picked up by somebody who wants a slightly more advanced um, project to be working on with the Autobots. Um, so this is the, uh, the MIT app. Uh, and you can see here, this is just the design. Um, with the buttons, of course, these buttons have all the images have all been designed by myself. And then the Bluetooth connection here, the clockwise and counterclockwise motion. Uh, and that's it to keep things nice and simple. In fact, this is touch control so that when you are touching the buttons, um, the robot moves. As soon as you release, um, a stop command is sent to the robot. So this is, this is actually helping out the uh, simplify the code. And code itself, um, just in the Arduino IDE, uh, you can see I've kept everything as simple as possible. A uh, bit of calibration that's required uh, with the servos. Um, they don't center at 90. You need to just experiment with this uh, and then you can set up. Uh, in fact, I set up three speeds on this slow, medium and fast. Uh, there's only 10 possible speeds. And in fact, really, there's not much difference between perhaps, you know, speed one and speed two. Um, fast is actually very fast indeed. Uh, and it's a problematic for Omni 4 to actually grip uh, many surfaces if it's traveling too fast with the rollers that I have at the moment. So, yep, standard uh, <clears throat> code for uh, the Bluetooth connection to the HCO5. Um, and yeah, and uh, just adjustments made for uh, the different speed ratings that you have.